guys and welcome back i'm here with another lug video so i want to talk about how i maximize my lug bags okay i have quite a few i can pull them all out hubby's home so i pulled a couple a few so um i can explain how i use them okay the very first thing i want to talk about is my little plate here nothing fancy just a little plate so what i do with this when i come home i like to kind of undress out of my lug bag i will take everything that's loose i don't like a lot of loose things in my bag but some th sometimes i just can't help it so these are the things that go inside of say the clear view pocket or the front pockets on my puddle jumper i have the same thing in every bag just some bags i can take more than others um say for instance this one i always use this flat water bottle in the smaller bags so i'll keep this here so when i get out of my bag i'll put everything here and the next day when i get to get ready to load up my bag for that day i'll just grab these items and then just put them in the pockets because everything goes the exact same place so tip number one okay then i like to group my lugs together so i store them oh i should have um, put in a clip on how i store them i store them in my closet on the top shelf um I like to open the closet and I like to see all of my lug bags there <laughs> and I group them according to pattern. Now, because I have so much flamingo, one whole side of my closet is just flamingo, but I like to group them according to the pattern. And then that way, whatever clothes I'm choosing to wear that day, I can just coordinate with whatever I'm wearing. Okay except these are the exceptions to the rules so let me start with them first i have i ordered these little um insulated pouches and i tried to get three colors that are match kind of the color scheme that i have in lug so when i'm packing a, a larger bag and i need something just a little snack or something that i need to keep cold i keep these inside of the kitchen um in my plastic container drawer so whenever i'm about to pack lunch or pack a snack i'll just grab one of these that coordinates with the bag put the snack in here and in the freezer oh, dang should have took a picture of that as well i have a small little basket in there where i keep a lot of the small ice packs so i can just toss a small ice pack in here throw the snack in here toss it in the bag on the way out the door and that's where these stay. Now, I only have one of these. And I again, I, stack, I store this in the kitchen as well with the pouches. So if I'm packing something that doesn't require refrigeration, I'll just pop it in here. Now, my scooter... This is actually my favorite lunch tote. I love the scooter. I do have the chomper and it is nice as well. It's nice on those days where I have a light lunch. This is the whole kit and caboodle here. I can just pack lunch for me and hubby in here. So again, I pack this in the kitchen. And another thing, just like my bags, I always keep a throw pillow in here. Lady, do not throw away your old little ugly throw pillows that you have no use for. I take those, pop them in, and it'll let your bag keep its shape so it's not all crumpled up and kind of wrinkly. I hate that on a bag. I want it to look nice and neat as the day that I bought it. Okay, and again, on the back side, the back pocket, Again, I like to group my lugs together so I can get the maximum use out of them. So I always use my medium-sized transport as my condiment case. And I use my clipper 
for my silverware. So when I get home, I wash everything out. I take a soapy washcloth, wash on the inside of my bag. Even if nothing spilled, it doesn't matter. I'll still wipe out with a little um, warm soapy water, dry it out, wash these, dry them, restock it so when I'm ready for lunch to grab, everything is all packed and ready to go. And again, I stored this in the kitchen. Okay, hmm. Let's move over here. Okay, sorry about that. Shh, 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 shh. My flash. Now, I only use this for, let me just show you. And I, I never close it all the way or lay it down. I always leave the bottom part open because I like for it to stand. And here's the reason. We do a lot of traveling, um, a lot of driving. So I like to store for overnight. I like to store my um, body spray and body lotion in here. So I have what I use in the daytime and I have what I use at nighttime on this side. And these are big bottles as you can see but it'll hold them perfect and I can actually fit two more in each side but this is just how I like to use them and I leave them um I always just take what I'm going to use for that day and that night and they work perfect and I always stand it up in my larger bags so usually it's either the Avion or the Ariel that I'm using this with so that's how I use that. Now, let's see which way. Okay. Now, my puddle jumper, mini. This is a nice bag, but I actually have two. But I use them kind of, I store them kind of different. So, for this one... I like everything, again, stacked and ready to go. So with this, I put everything that matches this inside. So a parasol and canoe. I even have my little packable in the con card because of the purple. Matchy, matchy, matchy. <laughs> I love that. So I'll keep all of this in here and that will help me again hold my shape and I even keep my purple compact in here because I want all of my things to match. <laughs> so I don't have to stuff a pillow in this one because everything is here. <laughs> oh and as you can see the crossbody. Now I never wore a crossbody um on my larger bags, I just never do. But I like to keep the crossbody with them just so I know exactly where everything is. So I'll keep that. And what I'll do is just tuck it and I'll store it just like this in my closet. Just like this. So I know if I'm wearing something that coordinates with the... Um, this bag, then I'll just grab it and everything I need is in here. And then I can just grab the things from my tray, put them right in here. And everything goes the exact same spot with every bag. Okay, now, for this puddle jumper, I took this as my daily purse for a while until I got the We'll talk about her in a second. So, with this being my purse, for a while, I used the roundabout as my wallet. I love this. I know they came out with a lot of bags. They got the coupe. They got oh, kind of smaller bags. But this is a workhorse. This is my favorite smaller bag with the makeup compartment on one and then the wallet on the next side. And then, even with this bag, 
I always keep my straps, both straps in here, just in case if we stop somewhere and then we some unexpected walking come about i can just leave this in the car get this pop that strap out hook it on and i'm good to go so i love this now and i could easily move this from bag to bag but usually um i'm keeping it with this i like this together and again a little ugly throw pillow that I keep in here to keep it shaped and a Scentsy pack. Now, I always, in every single bag I have, I keep a Scentsy pack. Now, you don't have to use Scentsy. I suggest it. <laughs> you don't have to use Scentsy. I just love them because they're so scented, but you can actually get a dryer sheet, something, to just put it in there to keep a nice, pleasant scent and you can even um, put, get a cotton ball and put a drop of essential oil on there. Just a little drop because you don't want it too messy. And you can kind of toss that in there just to get you a nice, um, fresh scent. And again, I keep the crossbody straps. Even though I don't use them, I like to keep them just in case. And then so I don't lose them. I like everything together. So with both of these, they help hold the shape and i love this button this is I, I love this bag it is just so nice all right um did i do this one okay no i didn't do this one. okay with my street car i don't have this is the only pattern that i have like this so i like to keep i accept the wallet so i keep everything inside and it naturally holds its shape so i didn't have to stuff it so i have the kick flip in here with the strap to the kick flip and the strap to the street car so i store all of that inside again whenever i'm reaching for something that matches i can just grab it and i'm good to go Okay, now, let me see. Oh. This bag. Oh. I have been looking for this for so long. A fellow lug nut. Oh. I can't think of your name. Uh, Julie. Julia. I'll leave it below. Very sweet. Oh. Okay, so this is my little prize possession here. My gondola in the color camo olive. My favorite camo. Okay. Again, old ugly throw pillow. Look at that beautiful light lining. I want to keep it looking and smelling brand new. Just nice. So I always keep that in here. Oh, and the clear pocket that I use with this. So when I get ready to use the gondola, I'll just grab from my little tray here, grab what I need, load it up, and I'm good to go. And it doesn't take me long at all because everything's here and I use the same things in every bag. Now, even my larger um, gondola, I don't have a large throw pillow in here because it seems to hold its shape with the knapsack. So when I keep the knapsack in here, it holds its shape. And I also use my Tango when I'm using the larger bag as a larger type wallet slash planner. So um, depending on what I'm doing that day and what I'm wearing, <laughs> I will just grab the bag, load it up from my little tray, and when I finish, if it call and and again, if it calls for the throw pillow, if the throw pillow is too big, I'll just lay it right beside the tray so I'll know that it's going back into the bag. Okay. 
And I also keep my choo-choo in there. It's a couple of more things, but I took that bag and I didn't bring it in. I didn't bring it in for the video because I took that. So it's a couple of more things that I keep um, in the larger gondola that I didn't bring in. Okay, before I get to, oh. My puddle jumper. This is a workhorse of a bag. I mean, I used it for a while as my gym bag, but I hadn't been, as you know why. So, since I haven't been able to go to the gym, I said, just pack it down. So, again, my I don't have a um, pillow in here, but I do have, this is another... Um, thing you can do if you don't have any throw pillows old towels um, a old smaller blanket or hey cut the old blanket up and make several this is TMI but I'm gonna share it anyway it is what it is this is one of those old wraps that the guys use when they get out of the shower and my hubby was going to throw it away because the little velcro for some reason it wouldn't stick anymore it would just fall to the ground <laughs> and so he was gonna throw it out I'm like ah, I got use for that so what I do is I take it roll it all up in a ball and it fits in my puddle jumper and this little hook here now this little hook um I had to use it but usually I hook my puddle jumper puddle jumper packable <laughs> i hooked that here but i needed to use it so that's why it's not in here but it is in use but this is a great bag oh my gosh great overnight bag just great so many ways to use this bag this is a great bag Okay, let's see where to go from here. Oh, now, my larger bags. I didn't bring them in to show you. Again, we're not alone. So, on the larger bags, instead of using the tray that I use, on my larger bags, I always keep the same. So, I have an area where I keep all of my signature. I use these things in all of my larger bags. Now, as you know, this is my daily purse now. I love it, it is so gorgeous. So, if I'm not taking this bag again, my knapsack seems to help it hold its shape. Oh, and it smells so good. Mm. It helps it um, hold the shape. And I have my flipper in here. So these items here, along with my splits wallet, and I used it today, that's why it's not in here. But I use these, so I'll set these out. I have a designated spot form to the side. And no matter what large bag I take, these all go with me at all times because again don't know what i'll need if i need to change out some jewelry if i gotta need a um bobby pin or whatever i have that in here and i'll you can um look at the video um i'll link the videos below of what i keep in all this so i don't the video won't be so so long any kind of medication um q-tips rollades um, what else do I have in here? Tweezers, nail clippers, nail file, any of those things that I need are in here. So I'll just grab it, toss it in. My makeup brushes and my makeup always <laughs> with me. So I keep all of this with me at all times. So whatever. Oh, and then on the back pocket here, I keep my splits wallet. And that's my favorite wallet, so I just move it from bag to bag. But I always travel with the same things 
I say travel. I always have basically the same things with me um, every day. I just scale it. If it's large, this is how I roll. <laughs> this is how I look. If it's a large bag. A smaller bag, like this one, perfect pocket here for my splits wallet. Same basic items go in here, just on the smaller version, so I wouldn't get... Well, no, I will put all that in here. It will all fit. And the reason I really wanted this bag, um, thanks to the um, Jessie on Luck Night TV. <laughs> um, I saw her use this bottle, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that is so perfect. I need that. And she linked the information. So if you would like, if you're interested in it, check out um, Lug Nut TV, and um, Jesse has she has a video, but I can't remember which video it is, explaining where you get this bottle. But it is perfect. It fits in all of my smaller bags, so I can load up my water bottle, I can load up my lotion, my hand sanitizer, my gum, my checkbook, my little poop spray. Everything goes in my smaller bag as well. So whether I'm lugging big or I'm lugging small, I have all of my essential items with me at all times. And that is how I like to maximize things. Now, if I'm going on a longer trip where I need my wheelie, and I didn't bring it in here again. So if I have my Willy or if I have my Avion or my um, Ariel 2, those are the larger ones that I have, I always have my trolley. I This is another workhorse and this will even fit in here nicely. It uh, These two are a very nice pair. I love it, you know, other than my. <laughs> but this is so versatile so i if if it's a big travel i always have my larger um and then this one i always put little smaller things in here um toothbrush toothpaste any kind of mm, I, I change this up so much but I'll have this in my larger. So this is my larger bags. Um, I'll use these. Medium size bag. I use all the ones that I had in my Apollo. And smaller bags like this, um, I use the things from my tray. So hopefully... Um, I gave you some helpful uh, tips and um, of how I use my lug. And I like to maximize it. I want to get the most bang for my buck. And as I tell my husband, <laughs> I have a lot of lug bags, but they kind of all serve a different purpose for me. So I use them all. Um, and I can't say like which one I use more than the other because it just depends on what I'm doing that day and what I'm wearing, of course, because I like everything to match. But on a day-to-day, -day, I usually kind of roll like this. So I'm lugging medium style because I like a larger, I like a larger tote. But a lot of days, it's a smaller bag. Now, if I'm taking, and I do pair them together, so let me explain what I mean by that. Usually, if I'm taking my scooter, I'm taking my archer. So this is over my back. So I'm usually like that. I don't know what's the deal with these glasses. They won't stay up today. So usually I'm like this. So I'll have the archer on my back and then I'll have this and set it aside um, for my lunch. But it is so comfortable. This is very comfortable. I love this bag. This was actually a gift for my for my son. It is a great bag. So usually I'll pair the two um, together. If I'm taking it, I'll take them together. But hopefully you got some helpful tips. 
Um, I hope this video isn't too long. If I didn't answer any question, if I didn't answer your question on a certain uh, bag, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. Um, and if it's another bag or something else you would like to know, feel free to ask me. Okay, until next time, have a wonderful day.